For small and mid-sized businesses that have outgrown existing accounting software, Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Financials is the comprehensive business management solution that easily and seamlessly connects people and processes. One of the simple ways in which we see the blending of the productivity tools and business processes of Dynamics 365 is through Outlook. Whether users access Outlook via the desktop application or Outlook web access, Dynamics 365 for Financials extends Microsoft Outlook to include access to financial information and enables users to easily interact with customers and vendors from within email. In this video, I will show you how to enter a sales quote within Outlook, send that via email, negotiate terms with the customer, and convert the quote to a sales order all within Microsoft Outlook. Entering a sales quote is a common practice for many businesses. Let's look at how Dynamics 365 can make your team more productive by blending Dynamics 365 with Office 365. In this scenario, you receive a request for a quote from a customer. Jim Glenn at Coho Winery wants pricing information for two items. In virtually every organization, you would need to open another application, log in, and begin the quote process. Or in other instances, forward the request to another individual with access to the back office system. This takes unnecessary time to complete and creates inaccuracies. Let's show you how you can do this inside of Outlook utilizing the power of Dynamics 365 for financials. We'll take a look at our contact insights. Before creating a document or transaction, it is efficient for users to be informed prior to or during their interactions with customers and vendors. No other solution enables users to access this level of insights in real time from their inbox. The information available enables users to be more productive and make quicker decisions. Users gain insight into the customers and vendors they are transacting with before they complete their task. We'll just scroll to the right over here to take a look at this. And now I've got access to all of the information. And as a representative or of the organization, you want your salespeople to ensure the customer is aware of their outstanding balances. Providing this level of detail from within Outlook is powerful for any organization. Let's choose to sort this information on the amount. So I can choose amount and I can choose to sort this in a descending order. So I want to identify the top balances due. So I'll select to sort this list in descending order. Here I'm able to see the invoice balances due in order of highest to lowest, including details about the invoice. Then quickly go back and additional details about the client are easily accessible right within Outlook. Let's just scroll down and show you a little bit more of those details. Now I've got all of that information that I need to know, and let's go ahead and create that new quote from scratch. Very easy to do. Since the incoming communication arrived from a customer, only sales-specific menu options are surfaced. If I'd been from a vendor, Outlook would have the intelligence to present relevant tasks associated with vendors. This allows a sales rep to be more productive in processing the customer request. So we'll choose sales quotes, and we're going to choose to enter in a line item. We'll type in our line description, and we'll go over here and we'll get our quantity in there. Automatically, we're down to the next line item. I'm going to start to type in. Now, I've typed the description into the item number field. I accidentally did that on purpose, of course, but the system knows and has the intelligence to understand that it enters the data correctly. This intelligence within Dynamics 365 reduces the number of clicks and also ensures data accuracy. So let's just tab off of that. We'll come over here, we'll put in our quantities, and you can see that the description was properly inserted and the item number was properly inserted along with that. So going to scroll down. We need to change the ship to address. We're going to select our alternate address. Dynamics 365 for financials reduces friction and enables users to take immediate action directly from an email communication. This eliminates potential inaccuracies when entering customer quotes, orders, or invoices to ensure your customers receive exactly what they asked for and your salespeople are more efficient completing their work. Well, the next step in the sales process is to send the customer the quote via an email. Let's take a look at how you can do that very quickly within Dynamics 365 and Office 365. Within our Outlook email, we can send a copy of the sales quote to our prospect. This quote will be saved in Dynamics 365 as well. So let's come back up here. We're going to choose to send this quote by email. All of the information is right in front of me. Let's just take a look at that quote one more time before it goes out. 
we'll open it up. Now the format for my quotes that I created inside of Dynamics 365 is being used right here inside of Outlook. So you can see that nothing changes when I'm in Outlook. Well, I tell you what, let's go ahead and we're going to get this all sent off to our client. Dynamics 365 with Office 365 saves your team time and ensures data accuracy. With this powerful combination, your team is more productive by reducing the number of applications or systems typically required to complete tasks like customer quoting or ordering. Now, let's look at how Dynamics 365 can improve your customer response times and thereby, thereby their satisfaction. Our sales rep receives a response from the customer requesting a modification to the sales quote you just sent via email. So let's start with selecting the email from our customer. We're going to bring it up. Now the document links button here gives us access to the documents that we sent over so we can review that right inside of Outlook. The seamless integration between Outlook and Dynamics 365 is clearly on display here. The email includes a document in the application and thus enables a sales rep to quickly edit that based on the customer request. This saves data entry time and it ensures data accuracy with the immediate access to the current documents. So we're going to choose to edit this document and we're going to go ahead and enter in our discount. We'll tab off of that. The discount amount is reflected, reflected accordingly in just a couple of steps. We've not left email. We've verified and fulfilled the customer request, saving us data entry time, ensuring data accuracy, and improving our response time to our customers. Well, now that the customer has confirmed the quote, we've negotiated terms with them. Let's convert that quote to an order. From within Outlook, we'll convert the quote to an order. Come back up here, and we'll choose to make this an order. We're going to go ahead and just choose our ongoing sales orders, select the correct order that we have, and in front of us now we've just in a couple of clicks taken that quote and turned that into a sales order. Everything's completed here inside of Outlook. So let's go into Dynamics 365 for financials. We're going to log in as the sales order processor role, and we're just going to take a look at whether or not that order actually is in Dynamics 365. So we'll come in here. Look at our sales orders right here at the bottom of our list is our sales order number 101006. Integration to Microsoft Productivity Tools is essential to many business owners who rely on this suite of tools to run their business. Dynamics 365 extends Microsoft Outlook to include access to financial information and enable users to easily interact with customers and vendors. Built into Outlook, users can immediately create documents such as quotes, orders, or invoices and reduce the risk of entering inaccurate information. Real-time interaction between Microsoft Outlook and Dynamics 365 for financials reduces your response time to customer inquiries. With Dynamics 365, you are more in control and more in the know of how your business is growing. To learn more, go to www.intertimebmi.com.